want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight, and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together, and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. So, anything you can tell us about what we're up against will be a plus. Imagine... ambivalent omnipotence, drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. We worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled in the Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, cause I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find Hi, the kid? Yep. What are you- 
Oh, Clark. Oh, Clark. We've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. Sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? I'm kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It will be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Oh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but... I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. 
You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Do I get a raise for this? Doing, doing, done. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafty. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh! I doubt even you could break that. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but... Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and, and, uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo?
that explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. All them bars, and bedding parlors. And noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it would be worse. Raker rallies regiments, while we wait whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side.